on Canada's Eagle Lake, I'm trying to identify an elusive snake-like beast that people here call Kachiganabic. Sightings of a similar 20-foot animal have been reported from across this region, but nothing I know of fits the description. Now I've heard of a recent attack on a human. If the culprit is the shadowy lake monster, then bite marks on the victim could be the key to solving this mystery. Eager to get more details, I tracked down a man named Gord Bastable, a witness to the attack. What exactly was it that happened in the water down here? Well, we had a bunch of kids down in camp here. They were out in the water down on the beach. They were just horsing around like kids do. One of them is 11-year-old Billy Belinsky. He's standing in very shallow water when, without warning, something slams into his leg. Something grabbed him and tried to pull him under. Fortunately, he was in shallow water, so he could pull himself off and get to shore. But uh, really, if it had been in deep water, it could have been a whole different story. The boy isn't here now, but Gord has a photograph of Billy's wound taken just minutes after he was mauled. It looks like someone's taken a pointed knife and, and just gone round and, and done a semicircle. The crescent-shaped bite is rather like that of a shark, and bull sharks are known to live in fresh water. But no bull shark could ever reach this landlocked lake, let alone survive its icy temperatures. Has anything like this ever happened before? Never, never. I've been on the lake here for 35 years, and this was a first. There was a lot of commotion, which is very odd to attract any kind of fish. So what do you think did this? Well, there's only one fish that has the confidence to actually pull that off, and that would be a muskie. A muskie? There are several muskies hanging around in the creek area and the beach area that week. The muskie, or muskellunge, is a truly formidable beast. Fast and extremely fierce, this supersized pike sits at the very top of this aquatic food chain. Muskies are known to reach a hefty 70 pounds and can target a wide range of prey. Fish, muskrats, and even ducks are all fair game. But in over 30 years of investigating freshwater attacks, I've never heard of a muskie sinking its teeth into a human. Until now. Okay, this is a big halibut. This is 120 odd pounds. Heavy to lift, heavy to bring in. Well, this is a lake trout. A predator in its own right. It took a spoon.